Colin Patterson. I'm the executive chef here at Sutra in Wallingford, Seattle. And I'm also 2009starchefs.com rising star. The VitaPrep is super crucial. I use it every day and I don't know how I'd be doing half the stuff without it. So the mise en place for our enchiladas, first we need to start by making our cashew cheese, which we need a little bit of lemon juice, our raw cashews, and some filtered water. The filling will also include some roasted beets, some roasted carrots, and then we're going to infuse these black beluga lentils with this Russian caravan black smoky tea, and then that'll be served with the mole roja sauce. We have a couple types of chilies. We have some anchos, some New Mexico chocolate, which is from our local chocolatier here, Theo's chocolate, onions, garlic, a little bit of cumin seed, a little bit of nigella seed, and also a little bit of lime juice as well. Finally, to wrap the enchiladas, we're going to be using the celery root itself, actually. Okay, to make the cashew cheese, we have some raw cashews, fresh lemon juice, and it does need to be fresh lemon juice because it needs that active quality in fresh lemon juice to get the fermentation going. And then we want to use a little bit of filtered water. To begin with, you want to start at a lower setting and then eventually we're going to move up to the highest setting to get it really fine, smooth paste. So here we go. We're going to put it into uh, this glass container and you want it to be glass, not metal, because it inhibits the uh, fermentation process. Cover it up nice and tight and put it in a nice and warm environment, you know, 75 degrees, about 20 hours. Okay, so I've already de-seeded the chilies. You leave a bunch of seeds in here, it's gonna be really spicy. And when we fry this, it's a real quick frying, but it takes about 20 seconds. As soon as it starts puffing up, you just give it a little flip, pretty much pull it out, and that's it, it's done. We're gonna throw some onions in there, just diced up a whole onion. So once that gets going, we're also going to add a little bit of the cumin seed and some of this nigella seed, and we're going to toast it up as we're caramelizing the onions. So now we'll add garlic that we sliced up here. And then the next thing we're going to add here is the tomatoes. We can just throw the tomatoes right in there. The chocolate, throw it right in there. And you can throw the chilies right in there too. Sometimes you might want to crunch it up a little bit and we're just gonna let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna puree up our mole. So we're just gonna place that into our Vita prep. And the one thing that you might be aware of when you're pureeing hot liquids, start on a low and build your way up to higher speed. We get it going. Okay, so the next step is to press it through our chinois. So we just pour liquid into here and just a nice short little plunging. Okay, so now we have the pieces for our filling. We have our smoked black beluga lentils. We have our roasted carrots that we've diced up. Throw those in there. Roasted beets that we've diced up. Throw those in there. We have our cashew cheese that's been kicking it for 20 hours, getting all nice and tangy. You might need to adjust the seasoning a little bit, add a little bit of salt, but in this case, I think we're gonna be just fine. So we have our celery root tortillas that we pressed. We're just gonna take a little bit of this filling. And just take this and just flip it over. The old style of sushi roll, and just take your fingers, just whoosh, you got this nice little piece here. So now, next step, add a little bit of this mole that we made earlier. And then we're gonna toss it in the oven and bake it for about 10 minutes. All right, we're ready to plate our enchiladas. So we got a little bit of mole. We're gonna place a little bit in the center of the plate. Enchiladas are hot out of the oven. And a little bit of toasted nigella seed. And then a little bit of this shiso, chiffonade shiso on top, and voila. That's it. The celery root enchiladas with smoked black tea infused luga lentils, roasted carrots, roasted beets, cashew cheese with a mole roja sauce. Thank you.